What's up, everybody? Welcome to day 316, Make It Songbringer. And um, today I'm going to be doing a playthrough, getting ready for the beta release today. Today is the beta. Finally, the beta release day. What's up, Pedro? Yo! <laughs> yeah, beta day. So the general plan for today is I'm going to do a playthrough, do some testing, uh, write down any critical bugs that need fixing. <laughs> Um, then I'm gonna, you know, get the, the bugs fixed and send out some Steam codes. So the version, it's gonna come out on Steam as early as I can today, um, and get the codes out to all y'all beta um, people that have, you know, pre-ordered the game or backed the game. And then later on tonight, I'll finish up the marketing, um, send out the update email, on send out the Kickstarter update, send out the the um, the update on Steam and everything, all that. So basically, first I'm gonna test the game. Second, I'm gonna send out the Steam codes and update the Steam. And then thirdly, I'm gonna uh, announce it. Yeah. So today is gonna be um, basically mostly testing. Um, and one neat, one neat thing I just added to the game was um, now the shadows on the overworld are a deeper hue. So before they were all just black. All the shadows were always just black. And now they're actually the color of the dirt. Yeah, Pedro, um, I, that's, I'm in minimal HUD mode right now. <clears throat> that's an option. You can turn on minimal HUD. And uh, mm -hmm. you just have the just your health. Yeah, so what, uh, uh, so there's the shadows, not only are they deeper hues, so you can see that the dirt, the shadow for the player on the dirt is sort of a deeper red color. So that's really nice. It adds some color depth to the shadows. And then you can see the water, the water shadows are actually sort of a purple color. So it moves towards the deeper hue. And um, it also refracts a bit differently. Yeah, yeah, that's in there. It's it's not an official option yet. So the the minimal HUD thing up there is not an official option in the settings, but it will be an official option. And I'm thinking there'll be there'll be several levels to it. So the first level or the first setting is you have your your normal HUD kind of like this. Um, the second one will be a little bit more minimal, and then the last one will be the ultra minimal one where it's just got your your courage up there in the top. What's up, Lith? What's up? All right, so without further ado, I'm going to start into the playthrough now um, and be thinking of what you guys want to see for a world seed, a six-letter world seed. So I'm going to crack out my headphones. I already got my phone ready to take notes. Um, I got my game pad. I'm playing with the Xbox controller today. What's up, Arcane? Hi, Beta. My headphones are so old. I've literally had these for like seven years that sometimes I have to adjust them to get the right one to work. It's funny. So, um, yeah, first person to give me a six letter world seed, we're gonna do that world seed. It'd be nice if the six letter word was actually a word. Yeah, borderless window, full music volume, full sound volume. It's the same with those settings. Oh, you want to do high beta for the for the uh, for the world scene? Anyways, can I have some questions on song? I tried to play for a while. Can you have some questions? Yes, of course. Would you like to ask some questions right now? Go right ahead. Oh yeah, if you want to do high beta, that's fine. But it'd be cool. It'd be cool if it was an actual word. We always do these like, you know, these. Quasi words. 
So yeah, if if we don't hear, oh, I gotta change my hold on. Hold on, I gotta change to thirty frames a second because I'm streaming right now. I can't stream and play the game at a high frame rate, or else my laptop will explode. Tomato, there we go. We got a six letter word. Tomato, it is. Tomato. Potato, oh! Potato came in just after that. But tomato and potato are almost the same thing, though. Okay, tomato is the seed. Tomato, potato! In before, it, it's bugged and unplayable. Okay. How is it unbugged? How is it unplayable? Do you wanna, um... Is it a, is it a long answer, Arcane? Do you wanna, do you wanna send me an email about it, maybe? And then I can note that seed and note, note what's wrong? Or do you wanna just share on the chat right now? It's fine. Either way. It's a bit too many hoppers. Might be a little bit too bright. They're meant to be more of a background thing. That was for the tomato seed. That I bet it's going to be unplayable, like Arcane, like Arcane was. Oh, you're you're guessing this is going to be a, a unplayable. Okay. Well, let's see. Hopefully, not. But if it is, then that will suck. Because we'll have to uh, shut down the stream. I'll have to fix a bug or something like that. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, I'm crossing my fingers and there's no critical bugs. I just want to, basically, I got a hell of a lot of work to do today. Saint, in before, he's basically predicting tomatoes not playable. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for explaining. I, sometimes I just don't know. Sometimes I take things too literally. Sometimes I don't even know what the hell things mean. That's kind of nice. Finally, uh, this is the first time I've ever seen the game where uh, things like um, flies and background entities, butterflies and stuff like that, they can continue moving now while there's a cutscene going on or whatever. So it looks a little bit more natural. The only thing that pauses is the player. stances too so there's there's two stances there's always been two stances for many many months but for some reason there was a bug that I added to the game somewhere so you can see there's stance one stance two stance one stance two all right all right keep your fingers crossed that there's no bugs <laughs> no bugs whatsoever. None of them. I don't want any bugs. No whammies. No whammies at all. Well, it's intended that every time I launch the game, I must set the keys for my Xbox One controller all over again? No, not at all. It did not want to recognize left stick aiming to the right. That was only on your first launch? I don't know. Uh, Arcane, can you send me your, your saves.txt file? Um, yeah, so look, just look in your game, look in your game folder, there should be saves.txt. If you can just email me your saves.txt, I can look at that and figure out, uh, perhaps why you might be having to set your keys every single time. It really shouldn't, 
Unless, oh, unless maybe one of your keys did not get found for a certain device or something. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at your saves.txt. Alright, store. Yes, what's here? Got matter bomb container, scanner drones. I don't got money for this stuff right now. Fight these guys. Probably not gonna be able to kill that other guy over there in the corner. Hey, what's up, Jeep? How did Jeep get over here? What was that? Did you guys see that? I will definitely take a look at that and fix uh, fix it because that's uh, that's really important. You know, the, the controller, setting up your controller the first time. There's lots of little issues because everybody's kind of got a different controller scheme set up. Even if you are just, even if we're all just using an Xbox 360 controller, we all can have different ways of having that set up. You know, so I'll, I'll definitely take a look at that and figure out what can be done to fix it. Trying to go here in this this corner. I'm getting used to this uh, the top hat being bouncing off stuff. For a long time, the game only uh, the the game allowed your top hat to fly through stuff. So I could throw my top hat at the trees, for example, and it would just fly through the trees like no pro no like nothing. But now it's the game's a lot more accurate. It's, it's more physically accurate in the sense that you can throw your top hat and it bounces off stuff. So I'm kind of getting used to playing the game like that, and I'm I kind of I kind of miss the old version where it, where your top guy just, could just fly through everything. And I kind of don't. It's a lot more accurate the game playing like this. Uh, one new thing about this version too is that nighttime is a bit lighter. So when it goes to full night, it will actually be a little bit lighter. Because before it was so dark that you could you could barely see. Damn. Yeah, there's still there's a bit too many of these hopper guys now. I, I went overboard last night and was adding, I was fixing the hoppers because the last night I, would, I figured out that the hoppers were actually hopping off the screen and you could never find them again. They would just literally hop off the screen and never come back. So I added some code to make them stay on the screen, and that's good. But I also added some code to make them make a bit more more hoppers per area, and there's just a bit too many. Not really discovering the <laughs> where I need to go. Maybe this way. Maybe this way down here. This looks like a secret path. No. Dead end once again. Uh, okay, so this is. I was wondering why that. That ambience kind of got a little bit quiet, but I think it actually is one of the ambiences in the game. What's up, Pema? Mm. Yeah, so it's beta release day today. I'm doing a beta playthrough right now. After this, I'll be emailing out the Steam codes and up updating the game to Steam. And then later on tonight, I'll be officially announcing it by sending out a Kickstarter update 
posting an update on the Steam page, that kind of stuff. Okay, this feels good. This feels good right here. This has got to be it. Oh, well, look at this. I was hoping for a level, but at least we got a refill. Yeah, so for anybody tuning into this on YouTube later, or maybe you're just watching this Twitch stream for the first time, this game is called Songbringer. It's a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. So imagine, imagine The Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda, set in like a sci-fi universe. Looks like Dota 1-9! And also procedurally generated. So imagine if you could play The Legend of Zelda and it were a different world every time. Uh. Oh, that was a good hit. I kind of think this guy should be multiple. Like, there should be at least two of these guys. Got you! Alright, so should I use it? Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Because I'm lost. Oh, and it was way back there at the very beginning of the game. Typical. Botfu! Botfu is with us today! Arcane, uh... I also had an issue while having movement bound to the directional keys under the left analog of the Xbox One controller, for example, when I was running right, and then started t tilting the keys up. Tilting the keys up. The character kept running right as if he was locked in that direction, so I fully released the right button. Yeah, it, it might be just a directional pad. That's also something I need to work on, but please, uh, if you can, when you send me that email with your saves.txt, please let me remind me of that. And I'll add it to the, the list and stuff. Oh, what's this? This might be promising. This might be a level. Looks like it is a level, but we can't get there. Not yet. We need bombs. Okay, I'm trying to get to the level one. Or level two. Whoa. Oh, that was already activated. Because I, I walked the other way on it. Ah, that works. Save here. Thanks, Arcane. Well, I haven't died yet. That's a good sign. Oh, dead end! This would be a cool place for a secret. So far, the game only only has two kinds of secrets in general, but there will be several more. There'll be many kinds of secrets. There'll be burning bushes, movable switches, blow-upable rocks, uh, drainable water. There'll be a whole bunch of ice, poison, lightning. There's so many different ty kinds of elements that can be used to um, reveal secret. Uh, hey, yes, a store. Nice. Let's see what this one has. Oh, sweet. We got fear in this one. It's 200 bucks, though. Let's buy the cactus. Can never have enough cactus. I always buy my cactuses to Y, my bombs to B, top hat to X. It's like it's my preferred configuration. So far, so far the game only has uh, four different buttons you can use. You got A, B, X, and Y for your items. But I'm thinking that. Uh, I'm thinking that L and R will also be but, uh, buttons for using items. Either that, or Solar Flare a while ago suggested um, a similar setup to, I forget the, the name of the game, but um, you can use your, the way it works in that game is you use your L key, you hold down your L key, and then you press a button, and it goes to a whole other set of four buttons. So if you're holding L, you've got four other options. If you're holding R, you've got another four options. So that would be 12 different items you could, you, you could... Interesting. So we've got 
We got some. I'm taking pay attention to the lights here. We got some orange lights. Some sort of light blue lights on the bottom. Okay, yeah, it did do the right colors. Looks like. Got some new music playing here. This is some music I wrote this week on the stream. Nice, dude. This is looking really good. So, um, one thing I did recently to this level. This is this is the second. Um, dungeon art scheme. This is sort of like a wallless scheme. One thing that was got done this week was to make the um, the edges of these kind of walls. Um, you can see that it places some walls here, so you, so you can still bomb. You can still bomb and find secrets, but not every single one of these these like walls will be a secret, guaranteed. You never know. Come on, guy. That was that would have been a tough situation right there if that guy had actually kept wandering around there. Cause the top hat can't pass through. Hello, Utarius. Wetarius? I'm not sure how to say your name, but hello. Welcome to the stream. Yes, we got bombs. And this might be a potential area to bomb right here. I don't know. It kind of depends on which way this level goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my bomb for now though. What's up, newest followers? Nice guy, Dog Burgle, Tarius. But I ain't complaining. Ooh, spiders. Yes, I pronounced it okay. Wow, nice. Yeah, there's lots of new content. Really, not that much new content. have a random button on the seed selection when you just want to play and want to, don't want to think about seed names. Yeah, um, thanks Arcane. That is actually already a suggestion on the Trello. Um, and I think what's going to happen is if you enter a totally blank seed, it will just randomly fill it in for you. That will how, that'll be how that works. Why is Jib interested in that guy so much? <laughs> Oh, he's trying to scan it, but he can't. Okay, that's a little, that's a bug I need to note. So, Jib's trying to scan that. Jib tries to scan dead spider nest, but can't. The last time it was day 34? Well, well, man, it's been a while. I hope you do been. I bet there's a lot of new content then. All right, we found the boss door. But don't have the don't have the switch. Oh, I know, Arcane. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't feel. Don't feel sorry at all for suggesting something that's already been suggested or whatever. Um, but yeah, if, if anybody is interested in looking at what has already been suggested or looking at bugs or whatever, there's a Trello. Oh, died. School stuff? Yeah, how's school going then, man? What are you studying? If this 
were a locked room, I could be locked in here. And once again, Jim's just like, Jim's going crazy. I don't know what Jim's doing. Little bugs, little bugs. Um, should I write, I gotta write these both down. Um, okay, so. Jib is a dog on a bone trying to fly to scan stuff in static areas. Um, they, so there's a kind of a, you're studying computer science right on? Nice. What year? What year are you? So the, the problem is um, that if, if an enemy bat over sky behind pillars is unhittable. Maybe what should happen actually is that the maybe the top hat should be able to fly over some things like these pillars like it could just fly over these pillars but not fly over the wall like it would bounce off their wall but pillars you're year three right on man getting close got a locked door so i don't have any keys huh Also, empty seed for random seed is not very self-explaining. Hmm. Good thoughts, cash it. I wonder what. I don't know what to do there. I don't know what to do there right now, but um, maybe something will be, you know, presented. A nice intuitive way to do a random seed. Just out of curiosity, why do you have all components together in one file? You mean that? Are you talking about entities or components? 
talking about the entities.txt file or the world.txt file or the or that each each um, entity has its own file with all of its components in it. Components.cpp? They're not in one file anymore. Yeah, they're not in one file. That was a long time ago. I did that first to make uh, to make builds a lot faster. But now I've got a slower build system. Um, but yeah, every component is in its own. See, there's attack component.h. Attack component.cpp, everything's in its own file. It's, it's slower build, but it's a lot better for kind of keeping my head organized because it's like there's so many components now. I'm so low on health. I think I gotta use a bomb over here. Oh no. Oh, that's a bad idea. There we go. I was hoping for a few health fighting this guy. My ass kicked. I'm, I'm eating cactuses. I'm gonna fight this guy. Oh no, I forgot about the slowdown with the oh, cactuses. I don't know what happened. It made the cactuses so slow. Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta work on that today. Jesus, this is not working. So that's like number one bug so far. Uh, second death. Well, at least I noticed a big bug that needs to get fixed before I can release the game today. That's, that's a definite. Have to fix that one. Probably it has to do with all the new stuff I've done with shadows refracting. In fact, can you see the shadows refracting? See the shadows refracting on the on the water. That's weird. Jeez, if I could get through this level without killing myself, that would be good. Bombs! We found bombs. Oh yeah, well I would recommend storing your your components and systems in, in separate files myself, unless you want to go for a faster build. C++ kind of sucks, it's not really that great of fast of a building. Um, Language. It's really slow, actually. Having to compile headers and all that. Yes! I beat this level! The spiders from the nest are overpowered? I agree. The little spiders used to be used to be weaker, and then I made them a tiny... I, was, I tried to 
make their health more as you got um, deeper in the levels, but I didn't I got a number wrong somewhere. So the actual spiders are a little OP. They used to be kill. You used to be able to kill them in one hit. Now they just like take two hits, which is too much. The blue guy that shows should be in all the elements: yellow, elect, red, fire, gray, fear, green. Oh, you mean the blue guys? The wizards should have all their own elements. I like that. I'll add that to the design list. Wizards should be elemental. Rick Wild, if player one is using a controller like an Xbox 360, will the second player be able to control Jim for the keyboard? Yes. Yep. But that's that's not done yet. That the whole feature for playing as Jib is not even not even started yet. But it will it's not really too hard to implement. But yeah, basically you'll be able to play as Jib, whatever. You could you could have two controllers hooked to your system, the second player could play as Jib on the second controller or the keyboard or you could play the first player as the on the keyboard whatever you, it's all just binding your keys you can bind your keys however the heck you want would this would this stream like to do the link challenge where there are five links and one will take you to the right website and the other four don't it's pizza what's up man <laughs> Yeah, all right, so if you're tuning into the stream just right now, I'm playing through Songbringer's beta version right now. There's a few bugs that are critical I've got to fix before I can update to Steam tonight. Um, so that means probably this, basically my plan today is to uh, fix the bugs, update to Steam, email everybody that's got their beta keys so everybody can play. So basically, you guys, if you have beta keys already, you pre-ordered the game, or you backed the game on Kickstarter, you're probably going to get an email within the next couple hours. If not, you know, if not later, I'll try and get it. I'll try and get it done within the next three, like two or three hours, something like that. Um, and then later tonight, I'll be finally doing all the marketing and uh, posting updates to Kickstarter, posting updates to Steam, and officially announcing the fact that the, the beta is out there. So basically. There's going to be a secret beta release this, this afternoon. So you guys will be able to play. And then there will be the official release tonight. So far I've only run into one showstopper bug that just has to get fixed right now. That's good. Wow, look at that. That middle section is just so blocked out. I only have 84 diamonds. I can't even buy the, an element yet. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, I'm gonna use a map. Let's see what we can find. Salad dogs, what's up? I kind of wish that the the scanner drones would reveal that there's something interesting in those places. So far it just reveals paths. I think I'm going to do, let's do a straw poll for that right now. Oh, did I even post this? Okay, um, straw poll. Should scanner drones Feel that certain areas might have a level entrance or something significant. Yes, no. There you go. 
Techno CF. You look like this guy. Who are you sending me a picture of? That link's broken. It's got a P in it. Oh, the link's not broken, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but... Okay, um... Let's try and find level two. Wish I had some... some... I guess I must have missed the compass drone in that in level one. Rick Wild be cool. Cool to see some water enemies. Definitely, there's gonna be water enemies, man. Imagine like the legend, like the Zora enemies, where they would pop out of the water and shoot stuff at you. Something like that. It's a picture of House MD. Who's that? Is that somebody? Somebody famous? <laughs> Doctor House, huh? What is it? What's his? Uh, what's he like? Fiverr! All right, that's five diamonds closer to buying a, an element. If I can save up 200, I can get, I can craft something fear based. Fear would be a cool weapon to use on the top hat or maybe the bombs. Oh yeah. He's got icy blue eyes. Oh, look at this. This is blocked off right here. I wonder if that's intentional. This might not be intentional right here. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this particular screen because that might be a bug or it might be intentional. I'm not sure whether the, the maze generator meant for that to happen or not. Oh, is there supposed to be that many bugs? No, the little, you mean the little hopper bugs? Yeah, I added more hoppers last night. I uh, I noted earlier in today's playthrough that there's a bit too many. Yeah, there's not supposed to be that many bugs. Not the little hopper guys. He's a huge asshole. And he sucks at being a doctor. Well, if I were a doctor, I would probably suck at it, so that's some correlation there, I'm sure. Yeah, it does take a long attention span to make games, I'll tell you that. I could go to level 3. I've never played level 3 on a live- let's do this. I'm gonna play level 3 on the live- on a live- oh, I don't have the cup yet! That's fine. I'll go get the cup. Let's play level three. Whoa. You know what? The effect stopped working. Oh, there's a whole town. Oh, there's another bug. Okay, so there's a, a cool effect where you... Must be the new Y. Or the new Global Z thing. Um, what's that? The... Teleport... Field... Global Z, maybe? Maybe even the, the cactus? Oh man, it's stressful. So stressful. So stressful. I'm trying to get a release out, and then you find all these crazy important bugs. Especially a beta release. This is a big, big release day today. Oh well. I guess I'm just gonna have a stressful day. So yeah. All right. Let's let's play this dungeon.
on. I'll say this, what game development is actually very rewarding. You know, that's what's you're you're engaged in such a long-term project, right? This is this game, for example, is gonna take, you know, two years by the time it's done. Maybe more. Maybe like more like two and a half years I'll actually put into making this game. But the beauty about making something like this is that it's a it's a real work of art in the end. You know, if you put like two and a half years into making anything, it's probably going to be, you know, somewhat refined. It depends on, it totally depends on what kind of creation it is, but as far as games go, it can be quite rewarding to create. If you're, if you're, you know, the kind of person that can stick through, you know, actually make it a game for two years. Watch, is that the Null video? It's the most important video for all game developers. This is interesting, I've never played one of these kind of dungeons. These are, so, the dungeon that I'm in right now is actually going to be a lot different when the game is all said and done. These are meant, these kind of dungeons are going to be meant to be more psychedelic. In fact, there's probably going to be some crazy shaders going on and a lot of other weird stuff in these kind of, these dungeons. That's why the, the ground is sand. It's a lot different than the other dungeons. So, what, and also, if you're seeing me play this game right now, um, this is far from finished. This is the beta version. And it will be a long beta period. So this this beta will last months. And there are many bosses left to do. There's many enemies yet to be implemented. Um, so there's this is still far from being a finished game. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for sharing those pizza. Yeah, the that's definitely what I recommend to anybody starting game development or restarting game development, whatever. I don't know how I avoided that. Hardblow, what's up, man? Chris is so slot. Does the game have dialogue? Yes, it does. It does not have much dialogue at this point because, like I said, the game isn't finished. The story is going to be the last thing I do. So first I'm going to get bosses done, enemies done, levels done. After all that, I'll get the story done. So right now there's just a bare minimum of story in the game where you just you have a little bit of dialogue at the beginning of the game. That's it. But eventually there will be a lot more dialogue and story going into this game. So it'll have a... Um, it'll have a full, you know, deep storyline going on. What'd you miss? Not much, man. Yeah, I, I agree, man. Yeah, never... I, I'm so glad you said that, too, because a lot of people... Um, I think a lot of people understand that these days, like that the games take a lot of time and that it seems like most people prefer for a game to be done rather than them playing it early, you know, like I think most people would rather play a game that's finished and finished well than a game that's, that's sort of half-assed or whatever. <laughs> Alright Pizza, see you man. SF5, what's SF5? Kalein, hello!
never played five. So it's it's not really good, huh? Street Fighter Five. Yeah, people are sick of playing half-baked games. I've come to realize that sometimes it's better to wait longer. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that there's that attitude right now because, man, being a game developer, you just you want you want your game to be as good as it can. At least at least I, in my opinion, I want this game to be as good as it can be before it's all said and done, before the first final release. And I'm even after the first final release, there will definitely be updates after that. I'm sure there'll be um, some. You know, I'll probably have additional content added, like additional Easter eggs, um, stuff like that. I'll release with free updates beyond the first final release. But the first final release, I want it to be a, I want it to be done. I want it to, to consider the game to be complete, like fully complete. So this game will never have early access. It will be a, a complete game. Deadlines mostly ruin games? Yeah, right? You wouldn't wear a pair of pants that is half-assed. <laughs> I never heard that before, that's great. Chat ID, hello, this looks cool. Is this one-man creation? Yes, it is. I make all the music, all the art, all the, all the programming. I do all the business as well. That's a very underrated part of game development, business. It's actually very important. Um... Oh, are we still, oh yeah, how's, how's that straw poll turning out? Mighty number no. 9, what's that? Is that just a perpetually in development game or something? Oh, so if I'm facing a, if I'm running into a corner, I can't throw the top at diagonally. That's weird. Okay, I got I gotta note that. That's I love throwing the top at diagonally, and that's really really messing with my game here. So you cannot throw top hat diagonally if. So I'm looking for an element. 6-2 for yes. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's cool because I was really wondering. I know the secret chest is a secret. Like I was just, I was kind of qualifying that before I started this dungeon. This is a totally unfinished dungeon you're seeing here. This is not even going to be like this eventually. So that's why you're seeing um, some things like this. This hidden chest right here is not hidden because this is a... This really, I really shouldn't have even put this dungeon in the game yet. It really shouldn't be a part of the beta, but it is. Yeah, more scanner drones. I just now finally remembered to send a reply to your email about what name to credit me. Oh, it only took two months? That's not that long. Gotta love bombs. Um, another thing you're seeing here on this playthrough that's not gonna be in the final version of the game. Um, right now, there's um, these boss rooms are meant to have actual bosses in them. So the, since there's only three bosses that have been finished yet, I've just put some mobs of, you know, small mobs of enemies instead of some bosses. So eventually these will, all these boss rooms will actually be bosses eventually. Oh sweet, we got poison! Yeah, acid. Mighty number nine was delayed for the third time now. Even the demo to apologize for the first delay got delayed. And they don't want to play anymore and ask for refunds? Oh. Oh, it's a, oh, it's the game by, oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that Kickstarter. 
How long of a gameplay is there right now in the beta? It's long, man. It can take up to five or six hours to beat this game. Um, speed run speed running you can do this game a lot faster though. Um, in fact, Hard Boiled Egg has actually finished the game in 45 minutes. Alright, let's go. Oh yes, we get to craft something! I can craft two things even in a second if I get 40 more diamonds. Is there gonna be a charge attack? Yes, there will be, Colleen. There's a there's a planned um skill that you're gonna get. Actually in that dungeon you just saw. There'll, that's the psychedelic dungeon or whatever. It's going to have a lot of different um, uh, skills that you'll be able to develop. And the, one of the skills you'll be able to develop is uh, the charged attack. So yes, there's a going to be a charged attack. Okay, so should I craft this with bombs? Should I make poison bombs or poison top hat? I think I'm going to go for the poison top hat. Hardboiled egg is addictive. He's the first person that's ever been addicted to this game, I think. Oh, oh, he's he's cured his addiction. Nice. Good, good, buddy. Can you take a bite from the pizza guy? Let's go ask him. Uh, they don't they don't actually talk yet, but they will. You'll eventually be able to talk to these guys. Okay, so I'm going to make the acid top hat. Yeah, acid top hat. This will be sweet. This will like this will be, be more powerful for sure. If I could get really lucky and find level nine right now, I could beat the game even. If I can get le through level nine, but that's a it's a really tough thing to accomplish finding level nine. What's new in the beta from the last build? Um, there's a lot new, but not... I say a lot, but it's, it seems like a lot to me, but it's probably not a lot to, to you know anybody that's playing the game. Um, I can't remember if Top Hat bouncing off stuff was a, was a thing in the last version or not. Whoa, that's really weird. Look at that, when I throw the Top Hat, the water for that flickers on and off. Oh, that's just because the Z is wrong. That's already a bug. It's already listed in the bugs. Yeah, yeah, element. Yeah, it's yeah, it's in the change log. Um, I'm trying to remember what are the main things so far. Oh yeah, there's the new boss, there's the pulverizer boss. Um, there's new dungeon art, there's new dungeon music. To oh yeah, so the top hat does bounce off stuff. And Jib can't fly through solid stuff. Jib doesn't get stuck following enemies as much. Nighttime is brighter. A little bit brighter. Um, the hero has multiple stances once again. This, is, this was in the game for a long, long time and then somehow some bug got uh, in the game, so he could, didn't have multiple stance. But here's stance two, stance one, stance two, stance one. So there's multiple stances once again. Um, but those are the main things. I mean, it's been a it's been a hell of a busy week for me because you know there was that event this week, and this beta release is also taking a lot of a lot of time and energy. So there's re I couldn't really get as many things done this week. I usually get done. But, you know, next week there'll be more. After this beta release, I think what I'm gonna do is I might do kind of like placeholder mock-ups of all the bosses. Like just just draw the art and do the basic mechanics of all the bosses. So like all the bosses are sort of like kind of halfway done. And then maybe I'll do all the enemies as well, same kind of thing, like just doing placeholder enemies. Yeah, nobody actually asked for brighter nighttime, but I noticed during someone's playthrough um, that he was really complaining about there being 
the nighttime being too dark, so I just decided to make the, the night a little brighter. All right, what's the? This might be level nine. Who knows? All right, so this is gonna be the last level I play on today's stream, um, cause I just kind of gotta cut it short and get. I gotta get this this bug fixed with the cactuses, and um, it's level eight. Oh, it's so close to level nine. Anyway, so yeah, the general plan for today is I gotta fix a few little bugs, then I'm gonna email out Steam codes and up get, upload to Steam. So basically there'll be a secret Steam release this afternoon, and then later this evening I'll officially announce it. Post the Kickstarter update, update on the Steam page and all that. Them in the game as a really bad hand drawing, but no, <laughs> yes, <laughs> right? At least you know, at least that way the game will be more complete, kind of like the pulverizer boss. The pulverizer bosses, well, these guys are way harder on level eight, they have more health, and they're a lot smarter, they know where to go. Um, so, enemies, enemies get smarter for each level, so. Level one, the enemies don't notice you as much. They're just kind of stupid. They, you know, they they'll be right next to you sometimes, and they'll just they won't even try and attack you. Um, but by level eight, they're almost a hundred percent chance for them to be really smart. So they'll they'll literally try and kick your like this guy, just kicking my ass. I'm down to half a heart already. Oh. <sighs> I don't know about this level 8, this might be too hard. You can make him an MS Paint for me? <laughs> yes, level 9's elevator goes up. It's meant to do that. Eventually in, eventually in the story of the game you'll see why. But like I said, there's no story. There's not really any story yet. There's there's really just the, the initial dialogue, but that's it. I'm gonna have to use some cheap tricks to try and beat all these guys. Give them more attacks in later dungeons. Yeah, that's a good idea. And that's that's actually pretty easy to do with the current system. two items basically is he really dead though can the enemies dodge the top hat no not yet maybe some kind of enemies will be able to dodge oh my god oh my god <sighs> wow this is an, definitely an increased challenge if i had full health like the actual health i would have at this level and the amount of bombs i would have and the, the strength of the weapons and stuff that i would normally have by this time a lot easier. dungeon about 10 minutes of play and if I can't beat it I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to stop the stream and get, get these bugs fixed and get the, this beta version out on Steam
the hat and throw it back to you. That would be cool. One key. When will the beta be up? In a, in a few hours. So I was just saying that, but uh, basically I'll, I'll say it again. Um, the beta, I'm working on putting the beta up on Steam as soon as possible today. And then, and also emailing all the existing backers and people that have pre-ordered the, the beta. Basically just getting the game out to you guys as soon as possible. But I still have a lot of work left to do today as far as marketing goes. I need to write the update, post it to Kickstarter, post the update to Steam. Um, work on screenshots, all the screenshots need to be updated and stuff like that. So basically, I'm doing a secret beta release today. So the game was coming out on Steam in the next couple hours, something like that. And then it'll come out officially tonight. But the whole, the whole time it'll be playable on Steam. Maker, thank you, man. Welcome to the stream. It's already the 20 second for you, I know, man. but dark red and they drop like the fire hat so if you cash you might get burned if you what oh yeah poison top hat works pretty good on these guys <laughs> Oh my god. It's super hard. Oh, if you chase them, you might get burned. Oh! Cool. Yeah, that's my, my number one priority um, after getting this beta out, is to get is e at least all the placeholder enemies in the game. So just... Even if the game, even if the enemies aren't complete yet, at least getting them like a, a sort of placeholder version of each enemy in the game, so the game feels more full and isn't isn't so. I don't know. It's like right now it could, like it can kind of get tedious playing the same enemies over and over and over because it's really not how the game's meant to be. The game's meant to have lots of enemies and lots of bosses. So slowly but surely, slowly but surely. I really think the top, I think the top hat should be able to go through pillars. Kind of sucks it now that the top hat bounces off pillars. recommending the mages and the bats some of the mechanics yeah oh yeah thank you man <laughs> thank you that's some smart thinking right there there's a lot of doors a lot of doors in this game in this level
up, PFC? I'm opening this door. I've got a good feeling about this door. Oh no, a spider room with two spiders. Oh my god. Last time I'm gonna try. This is level eight. This is an extremely hard level to play with only level two equivalent items. So second up, or I mean, the stream is two megabytes, um, I actually have to have more like six or seven megabytes up, in her, like upload speed, so that's like, I don't know, at least three to four times what you would need for your upload bit rate of your stream, you need that for your up, actual upload speed of your internet, at least that's my, my, my experience. There will be. There's gonna be a cool shield item where, um, kind of like the Legend of Zelda shield, where you you just you don't even have to press a key to use it. But if you're swinging your sword or you're attacking or whatever, it's not active. settings you know if your internet's not fast enough you can always just set your bitrate really low i've done that on a few streams before it was like pixel art stream pixel art version of streaming I can't take anymore. I just can't take it. Uh, so, anyways, um, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Um, I've, seriously, I've got like whatever, ten more bugs I just added to my list. One of them is critical. Got to get this bug fixed. 
email everybody, get this update posted to Steam, and a hell of a lot more to do today. So, um, so yeah, that's wow. Look at that. I played for an hour. I got that much of the map uncovered for for the overworld. Crafted the the acid top hat. Oh, found the bio detector. I could use out here if I wanted. Anyways, so it was good good hanging with you guys. What was the seed? The t today's seed was tomato. Rocket Bunny, what's up? Sorry, I'm just about to shut this shut the stream down. So yeah, um, see you guys later. Um, I'll be back probably tomorrow. I'm not sure if I might I might take a break tomorrow and just kind of relax after this whole beta push, but. Um, yeah, that's it. Night, you guys. See ya.